today we are going to look at something simple but useful and i am going to show you how you can send the data wirelessly from one arduino board to the another using some very common wireless modules these modules are the simplest one and you could use them to add wireless capability to your projects the modules themselves are extremely cost effective and are available for much less than a dollar the older version of this was called the NRF24 L01 and it is supported the data rates of 102 megabit per second. The newer version is called the NRF24 L01 plus and it can support an additional lower data rates of 250 kbps. The lower data rates does consume slightly less current and I also think that it will be less disturbance in the interference compared to the higher data rates as it will not use so much bandwidth. The model that I have used has a PCB antenna which makes it compact but you can get a variant that support an external antenna as well. This allows for much higher range about 1000 meters in the line of sight. The power down current consumption is 900 nanoamps which makes this suitable for battery operated nodes. So in order to get this working, we need two such NRF modules and we will also need two Arduino boards and I will be using Arduino Nano and Arduino Umano. The NRF modules needs to be powered with 3.3 volt and it uses SPI for communication. This means that we need four additional pins for communication. And finally, we have the CE pin which is used to activate the transmitting or receiving mode bringing to the total pins of 7. On the transmitter side, I am going to add the switch to the pin number 2 such that it will pull the low when the switch is pressed and on the receiver, I will connect a LED to the pin number 2. You can select any other pin that you like and this is the reference wiring diagram that you can use. And you cannot use the modules with the breadboard because the pin spacing is not enough to place it in the middle and if you place it anywhere else then it will end up sorting the pins. This means that you either have to solder the wires directly or use it with some jumper wires. So I decided to go with the jumper wire. So here is an example of how I have connected the Arduino Nano and Arduino UNO board to the NRF24 L01 plus module. So now it's time to get into the programming part. For this, we will need to install the library. So to use the library, go to the tools menu to open up the library manager, then type the NRF24. Select the library by TMRS20 and install it. Give it a minute to complete the task and close the window. Now you can use the file menu to explore the example sketches, but these are all little bit complicated. So you can download the sketches that I have given in the link in the description. Let's start the transmitter code and all we are doing here is assigning the address to the RF module and we will have to use the same address for the receiver part as well. So this is how the RF module know who they have to communicate with. Then we initialize the module and get it ready for transmission. If the switch is pressed, then the pin will go low and then it will send the message as 111 or else we send the message 000. You can obviously change the value that is being sent or you can obviously change the value according to your requirements. So I am going to select the correct board and it import and then upload the sketch to the transmitter. Now once it is done, open the sketch for the receiver and make sure that you have the exact same address that you have used in the transmitter case. All we are doing here is getting the modules ready to receive the data and then start listening to the data that is being sent to it. If we receive the number 111 then we know that the switch is being pressed and so we switch on the LED. In all other cases we switch off the LED. So I am going to select the correct board and its COM port and then upload it to the Arduino receivers. Now it's time to test it out. 
so i have the transmitter on one side with the receiver on the other when i press the switch you will notice that the led will light up instantly and this is the quickest way to get started using these nrf24 l01 plus modules you can extend this principle to do just about anything that you want you can also use the sleep mode to conserve the battery and that's all for this video hopefully this will make it easier for you to add a wireless communication to your arduino projects so i will be integrating this concept with the home automation project in the next video so stay tuned for that thank you for watching and i will see you soon on the next one